We've discovered the first ever asteroid with rings, two of them, and it is definitely the smallest thing in space to have ever been found with rings orbiting it, following Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune. Those are gas giants. This is not. It's tiny. Yeah, not, I mean, not only is it the first asteroid with rings, it's only the fifth thing that we found ever with, with ring rings. rings. And it's small. It's like no one expected to find rings on this asteroid. Yeah. On any asteroid. Well, it's not actually an asteroid per se. It's a centaur, which is kind of, it has the properties of both an asteroid and a comet. Interesting. Yes. I feel like it needs to have like little furry legs, like a real centaur. <laughs> no, no. Is that not the but topic we're talking about? Half asteroid, half comet, half horse. Exactly. <laughs> and somehow there's rings involved. Yes. Well, the rings were discovered uh, during an occultation when when an, uh, the asteroid passes in front of a star, and that was observed in. But well, we knew it was going to happen, so it was observed by seven different telescopes, uh, mainly in South America, and that is when the rings were discovered, which really surprised all of the astronomers involved. Well, the exercise was to just kind of like learn about asteroids that yeah. they knew about, and you do that by looking at it when it passes front in front of a star, occultation. Right. Um, what they found was there were like there was a dimming of the star twice before the asteroid even got in front of it, and they determined that that was because of rings around the asteroid, mm -hmm. uh, which is super cool. Yeah, so that's it's, it's, it's interesting that we were still learning more about asteroids and we discovered that it had this property to it. Um, it's only, it's, well, let's talk about how small this thing is. It's only 250 kilometers in diameter, orbiting more than a billion kilometers further out than Earth. There was an example given that if you were to drive an especially fast car on the Centaur, uh, let's say a Bugatti, it would fly off and it would, it, it, it demonstrates how easy it is to go into its orbit. Yeah. That, how small that it is. The escape <laughs> velocity is really only like 220 miles an hour so that you can. Yeah. And then it would get sucked into the rings because obviously rings are made from debris um, or they think that there was a collision at some point in its history and that's how those two rings were made. But I think it's also really cool, you know, we look at planets like Saturn that have just a complex, like, you know, thousands of hundreds of thousands of billions of rings and this has two, mm -hmm. literally two, and that they could count to that far away. I think that's pretty incredible. The crazy thing about rings is this, that, like, for the most part, rings don't want to be there. Like, it's, <laughs> no, like, no, 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 like, I'm serious, pull. like, they're always in a state <laughs> yeah. of, like, combining and collapsing, mm -hmm. and that, you know, on a long enough time frame, all the planets that are in our solar system that have rings won't anymore. They'll coalesce into like the spheres that gravity wants them to be. Mm -hmm. um, so this was like, not only was it cool that we found it, but we found it while it existed and yeah, you know, was in between those existing. Those they'd be there for long, astronomically speaking. Right. But it's super cool because if you think about how planets are formed, you know, and everything is sort of pulled together by gravity, this almost seems like an archaic planet waiting to happen. You know, it's a rock, it's, it's misshapen, it's not necessarily round, but you just wonder uh, through collisions with other asteroids and such, if it does have that gravitational pull to eventually make it a tiny little planet. We'll see. Billions and billions and trillions of billions years from now. Billions and billions. <laughs> billions. It's, well, I think it's super interesting, and we're still learning so much more about celestial and astronomical bodies. Let us know what you think of the centaur that we've discovered with two rings around it in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.